Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to use the p-duration function. Now the p-duration function, what it does is it returns the number of periods uh, required by investment to reach a value. So let's say, for example, how long would it take me to make a million dollars? Let's say that I have a um, thousand dollars and then I want to have a million dollars. And then, um, oops, not a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars. and I am getting an interest rate of maybe, uh, I don't know, 5%. And you have to put this in percent, right? So it's either 5 and then the percentage symbol or 0 0.05. Oops, wrong cell. So it's either 5 and then percentage or point, oops, 0 0.05, which will give you the same thing. Now this function was not available prior to Excel 2013, so it's a new function in Excel 2013. Um, it doesn't do, there's some caveats on it, it doesn't do, um, it doesn't really take into account of uh, reinvestment and uh, reinvestment with compound interest, but it does compound it uh, year after year when you think about the way that it's doing it. And also the, the outcome or the, the output is essentially in the form of years. So if you wanted to find out months, you have to divide it by 12. If you don't find by days, depending on how you want to th think about days in the year, uh, 365, 366, so that, that, that it becomes a little bit more um, diluted when you do it like that. But for the most part, if you want to do a quick, basic outcome of how long it would take to get to a certain value based on a present value and, if, and a, an interest rate, this will do it for you. So to get to the function, uh, I'm going to go into the cell K4. I just type equal P duration. I can just type PDU and just press the tab key to populate that portion of it for me. The rate is the interest rate, and so that's that there, or you can just type in 0 0.05. And for the present value, that's going to be this cell, or you can just type in 1000. And the FV future value is $1 million. Close parentheses, press enter, and it's going to tell me it's going to be 141 years. So that's quite a long time. So let's say for something that's a little bit more realistic. Let's say that maybe I have $200. How long is it going to take me to make get $220? And maybe I'm getting half of that percentage, maybe 2.5%, right? It's going to tell me that it's going to take about a little over three years, almost four years, 3.85, give or take, years to get that amount. Now, if you wanted to calculate that by the months, you would just take that value and divide it by 12, your interest rate divided by 12. So we're, we're taking the assumption that the interest rate here, here is for a year, and if we wanted to find out how long it would take for months, we just divide the interest rate by 12 for each month. So it would take us about 45 months to get to that value of 220 um, from 200 if we have uh, a 2.5 interest rate. So there's a brief overview of the p-duration function. It's a pretty nifty function that is available starting in Excel 2013 and just kind of gives you a quick uh, analysis of a future value based on the present value and interest rate. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.